How's it going guys? My name is Matt. You're watching Code Tech and Tutorials. My YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about bullet physics. Bullet physics is a C++ physics library. I guess that's what we call it. And you can find it on GitHub. There's a lot to it that I don't know yet, so I'll just start that with this with start this with that disclaimer I'm going to show you how to basically get it up and running on Windows it looks like you can do it on any OS you want Windows it seems to be fairly easy well, this is used in a ton of games and it is just a very it's one of the more common ways to get physics into your game I don't want to say that like there aren't other options um, but of course judge for yourself okay let's go ahead and get this going so there's a lot of stuff there basically what you need to know if you're on Windows is you're going to need Visual Studio um, Community Edition so let's go ahead and find that Visual Studio Community Edition and I assume you already have this if you're a developer and using Windows because why wouldn't you and here it is so basically when you install this and set it up just click the C++ uh, workflow and install that along with it and you're pretty much good to go on that and we'll come back to that so what we're gonna do here is just go to clone or download or you know we could also go to releases and we could get the latest release source code and build that but we're just going to go ahead and I guess we'll, we'll clone the master so it should be pretty close to the latest release with maybe a few more fixes okay so cloning the master we can also get it as a zip or we can clone it with github stuff I'm just gonna download a zip for now so I don't have to sign in and as you can see at the bottom of my screen there it is downloading give it time give it time there it goes it looks like it's finished I'm just gonna click it to open it right away but you may have to go to your directory where you saved it and open it or whatever I'm just using my browser feature so there it is it's in downloads it's in a zip so I want to get it out of here and put it in its own directory so I'm just gonna right click and do a copy does it let me copy no but it does let me extract so we'll go ahead and do that I'm using pzip you might have a different unpacking program but I'm just gonna click extract here and I'm just gonna put it in source on my root drive here and that should do it looks like it's all unpacked so we're gonna go ahead and close this and just open up my thingamajigger my drives go to my username go to source and there it is of course you want to go to wherever you unpack it that's up to you and however you want to do your hard drive um, everybody has a different way it seems like so okay so what you want to do here is you want to look for this one here build Visual Studio VR Pi bullet double I haven't tested the others maybe there's stuff that's uh, relevant on those two but I've just uh, only used this one so that's what I'm going to show you so I'm just going to run this or hit open and what this does it, you might get an unsafe warning and might have to allow it but basically what it does is it gets the build ready for Visual Studio and opens the folder at the end for you and you just want to click this top one uh, the zero bullet three solution and this will open the bullet project now since you're probably well since these were configured for 20 Visual Studio 2010 you got to do this retarget you basically just hit OK here and let it do its thing and it's fine okay very good so now we have a Visual Studio project or solution open and over here there's the main solution and then there's a whole bunch of sub projects and it looks like it starts you off on the one called app bullet example browser 
and you can go look at the code in that and the extras and whatever else they have. And you can do that for any of these projects. You can just go look at the code and see how they're how they're done. You can also right click on any of these and go to properties and see the properties that are set on this particular project or sub project. So a lot of things worth uh, studying on this and, and figuring out. But basically you'll see mo these apps here all kind of run something in a window for the most part. And uh, the main projects here that everything else works off of seems to be all these bullet file loader, collision, common, dynamics, geometry. So pretty much all these are used to, uh, these create libraries, these for the most part. No, I don't know about every single one. I haven't looked at every single one super carefully because it, it just takes forever. I've been going through it. Um, so yeah, those are built as libraries. This other stuff uses it and stuff like that. So if you right click on any of these and go to, I don't know, for example, uh, build dependencies and then project build order or project dependencies, let's click on project dependencies. You'll see that this app bullet example browser depends on some of these libraries, other projects. So these other projects will build when you build it. This is all visual studio stuff. Maybe, um, this should be an entire different video, but, uh, this is stuff, you know, I had to figure out. So I just figured maybe other people do too. And as you can see, if I click on these bullet ones, they don't really rely on anything else because they're their own library, but these apps rely on the libraries. So that's just something to keep in mind, something you can do in your own projects too. make libraries, sub projects for your other stuff. Pretty cool. Okay. So if I just hit play here, it's going to build and run app bullet example browser 32 and all of its dependencies and debug at 32 bit. I'm going to go ahead and hit play on that and let it do its thing. So if you're doing it too, this is all you should have to do. You should literally just be able to hit play and get this example browser. And I'll show you a few more things after this finishes. And then we'll call it a video array. And there we are. Okay, there's the first basic example. And uh, you can hold alt and drag around. All the stuff I'm going to tell you is probably in the instructions too, or if you're just reading a lot, you'll figure it out too. Because that's how I figured most of this out. And uh, you can zoom with the mouse, you can click and drag and test things in other little projects here. There's a rolling friction one. So they fell on a slant, it looks like. Oh, and things just kind of rolling. Constraints. So you can go through all these projects. There we go, and it takes a moment to load them. Hmm. Okay, but I will warn you, because I was clicking through these and kind of having fun. At one point, I got to something that crashed and I couldn't recover from it. And I think it was in this deformable body. So uh, just a fair warning, you might want to skip some of those at first until you're prepared to have a crash. I think I'm pretty sure it was, it was like the grasp on some deformable cloth or something. So it was like one of these. And uh, I was troubleshooting a little bit, then it was just taking too long. And I was like, I, I don't want to, I don't feel like troubleshooting this. So I didn't exactly figure out what was wrong, but it seemed like an asset problem. So yeah, you can click on any of these and get a little demo. I'm a little scared to click on ones I haven't clicked on yet because I don't know if they're going to do the crash thing I was talking about. But let's just go through this first set. I think this first set's pretty safe. So horizontal hinge, I think you just, what do you do? You move this? Oh, okay. You can drag it left and right. So it's a, yeah, motor, right? Okay. There's another hinge torque, it says, test hinge torque. I don't know what's going on here. 6D of spring two, let's click that. Can we make this larger? Yeah, okay, this is way better, sorry. So this is some kind of engine type thing, I guess, I don't know, motor demo, <laughs> neat. Gyroscopic. Alrighty, soft contact. 
So you get the point. You can go play with these and check out the code and see how it's all done. Now, as far as including what you need into your own project, uh, that'll have to be a second topic in probably the second video. If you have any trouble, shoot a comment down below and uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. So if you want to try any of these other ones, you, just the last thing, you can right click and do set a startup project. But it looks like this example browser is kind of a cool one to start as. Oops, not retarget. Okay. Jeez, just so much stuff. Well, hope you enjoyed and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.